hello and welcome to my channel car diy repair today i'm going to do a quick video on installing the next base dash cam and this is the bundle here i got it has a 32 gigabyte micro uh, micro sd card in this it has a rear camera and it has a front camera i do already have one in my car but um let's see what's attached here but um i want one on the back because you never know when you might need it like for example here as you can see somebody cut across me in a roundabout van just didn't pay any attention to what he was doing at all and decided he was just going to run straight into me so when he done that i had to hit me brakes and uh, yeah if there had been anyone behind me we would have had someone rear ending me as well so i'm just going to get these uh, rear camera on this as well so i'll show you how to set up the next base dash cam Please enjoy the video give it a thumbs up leave a comment and please subscribe. okay so I'll just open up this now and see what's in there I have another sticker so that'll be my second one up there just a quick starter guide uh, usb uh, uh, sd card i beg your pardon this is the front camera then we have the rear camera which is the one i bought it for and how does that look? Yes, it looks actually quite nice. Get out of the packet now in one second. There we go. So it's sticky, stickiness on it. And it swivels around, which is, oh, it's magnetic. Even better again. Brilliant job. Excellent stuff. The front one's magnetic too. So you just pull it off on your power cup so nobody steals it on you. And there's the, there's the front one. Excellent stuff. And then we have next, oh, we have in this bag here, then we have one of the cables. So let's have a look. This is obviously going to the to the front. Uh, please charge this dash cam for at least two hours before use. Please use the supplied USB cable and a co uh, compatible five volt charger, e.g. phone, uh, PC phone charger in order to retain the data. Uh, time another use uh, time another user settings right so that's that there and i'd imagine this one here is going to be for the back it's the longest one yes i'll say so that's it definitely and then this is for connecting then to the computer when you want to download any images if it's needed to be downloaded which you know um, unfortunately has to be done sometimes so anyway, let's get stuck in. Okay, so these are the pieces we're going to be fitting now. And the first piece is the front camera and the holder. And this is the cable for that. So as you can see here, I already have a holder on there from, from uh, the previous one. So I'm going to be uh, using that if I can get this one off. Um, I haven't really tried to have, there we go. Yeah, so that should come off. It is the same size, let's see will it fit. Uh, and the answer is yes it fits so for me i have this on so if you're doing this what you would do is you would just leave this leave this uh, on and uh, anyway and then just get your position where you want it and then unpeel the back of it and then stick it on in this case i don't have to do that the next thing then we have to do is we have to route the cable from a to be it's out of the cigarette layer and in this car here there's, um, there's uh, uh, another uh, connection here where i can stick it into this so in this instance what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be coming from here up here across the roof in and around the edge here down here and around down and underneath underneath the um uh, the steering column and then around this direction and then i'm going to be coming up here and i'm going to be coming out here as you can see there i've just a half of a circle med here uh sort of drilled out here in order so i can connect it in there different cars will be different uh, ways of doing it so this is how it's done on this car so let's let's get this on unwrapped first of all so here we go is that oh dear dear now let me see i want to plug it in let's that goes in here plug it in. 
So, so I'll get it connected here like this, like that, so I know where I need it. Now you can take this thing off here if you want. In this case, I'm gonna leave it on. Uh, and then you just go tucking it in. First of all, spread it out first of all. Make life much easier for yourself. Spread it out. So it's it not all tangled together. And start the fittings piece of it. So tuck it in underneath. Yeah, like so. Bring it here. Bring it in here. Bring it here like this. Now, once I get it to this point here, I go back here and make sure that I have enough for this, which I have. It should do fine. And the way of anything, and I'm going to push it in here. And I'm going to tuck it in here behind this, like this. Like so. And then underneath the, the rubber here. And all the way down, just like that, using my thumb to hide the cable. As you can see, that's it. Nicely hid there now. And then the mirror goes back there, like so. And that's that. Now I'm going to just hide it going underneath here and then bring it back to here. Okay, so I have it down to here, so you just tuck it in, in behind all the, the rubbers the whole way down like I was doing there. Now it's at the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to unload it, un un loosen it up like that. And then I took the plastic panel off the side here. That's come off here, and then this one here. This one just comes up like so, like this here. So what we need to do then is we need to Get this in under here, like this, like so. So it fits underneath that there, ready to connect into this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck this nicely in behind, uh, underneath here, I'm gonna tuck it in and I'm gonna bring it around uh, and, and tuck it in behind this panel. And that's basically this first one would be done then. So that's all you have to do with that one. And then connect it is the, for the front one. So I'm going to do that now, and um, move it back in this. As you can see, the cable is ready to be covered with this side panel here. Right, and then it's coming along here, it's tucked in behind where the clip goes there, and it comes in tucked in there, and then it goes in under here, coming out and under here, coming out where I need it, where I have the, the thing half drilled. So that's the next. As you can see, it's all tucked in. Can't be seen. It's coming up all the way through here, and that's where it's coming out there. So I need to plug it in down below there. You can see there's a among all the mess in there. There's a, a place for plugging it in. Now the back one is what we're going to be doing okay, next. So this is the back one. This one's a glass one. The way it disconnects like that, absolutely amazing. So we have two wipes, we have a, a, dry wipe, a dry wipe and a wet wipe, so we want to clean the back window where the camera is going to be positioned, so that's the next thing to do. So after cleaning the spot you want to, um, where you want to put the, the camera, so you just do a quick test there, that's it, that's where I want it, in this case. So I should stick on like so. Like so, there we go. Perfect, and it just fits in just like that. Absolutely excellent stuff. Now the next thing is to get the power cable for that all the way through. The next step is getting the cable from here, all the way around here, and around the rest of the car to the back camera. So the way I'm gonna do that is, I'm just gonna connect this here like so, into the side where it's meant to be. And then I'm going to come around here, I did the same thing, tuck it in the seal in here. Now, this is easy enough to do this. It comes down, it's pretty simple. God. Now, oh dear. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go through here. Oh. Getting old ain't no fun, especially when you're getting bashed and banged everywhere you go. So, 
So we took that in there like so. We had the cotton airbag. Like this, just like the other one. Tuck it in with the plastic tool. Good job. Thank you. There we go, that's that. And then I'm gonna go all the way to the other side, like that. One Good second. job, Dad. No problem, son. Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Your videos always yeah. turn out good on that channel. No wonder yeah. why there's so Keep much there. subscribers on yours. Like so. I tuck it in nicely in there. Now. Mm. And then I need to get into the back seat now. And that's the next step. So we have it tucked in here. And we keep coming around. Give it a little bit of an extra space here. Just to tuck it in underneath this here. So as it can't be seen. Same thing with the finger. Very simple. In behind the, in behind the rubber. Pushing it in like so. All the way to here. And bring the cable to the back here. There's plenty left over. Oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> now, the next thing I need to do is tuck it in behind this airbag, which is really quite simple, just like all the rest of them. In behind there, like so. And then up in behind the roof again, like the others. Oh. I'm just going to feed this in here. There's a lot, a lot of it to hide. So, what I'll do is <clears throat> I'll turn it. What I'm going to do in this case is. I'm going to wrap it up around my hand, like so. See, can I see will this work? It might not work, I've never done this. I'll give one more. Should do it. Put this around like this. See, can I tuck this underneath here? There, maybe I can't, maybe I can't, no. I won't try it in case it pulls it down. So what I'll do instead is, I'll just feed it in, in on that. Onto his head. Packing it in. Like so seems to be the easiest way. So over and back. I think there's a Nintendo Switch over and back. game beside you. Uh, so we see what we've got Eleven. left. And Half we've come back when red, it's done. Red and black thing. So the next thing I want to do is just connect it and then get the last of it in then. And it's only just sitting on underneath this here. There's not, there's no big, it's not really a hard thing to do. It's just tucking it away, out of the way, so it doesn't distract. And I'll just be happy with that, I think, maybe. I suppose we can get a bit more. There we go. That's that there. Now, that shouldn't get in the way of my view of my um, rear view mirror. That's a perfect job. As you can see, ceiling's fine. Everything's good. Uh, the, the camera's on. If I want to take it off, there we go. No problem. 100%. 
that's how you fit the next base dash cam front and back and um, make sure that you have security when driving around because things are getting so dangerous out there please hit the subscribe button give it a thumbs up leave a comment and have and a good day